In our last video, we started our European road trip in Rotenburg, Germany. And today we head on an exciting adventure up into the mountains of Switzerland. We woke up this morning in the peaceful village of Muren. What makes Muren so unique is that you cannot reach it by car. The only way to get to this village is by cable car. So it feels as if you are going back in time to a much simpler life. There is a peace you can find here in Muren that is really hard to capture. Nature in its finest, alongside the best of a small town community. There are four different stops on the way up this mountain. And today, we are headed to the top of the mountain for a very special breakfast. I'm so excited. <laughs> Open your hands, stay. Is it scary? Freezing. Freezing? What about scary? Is it scary? Freezing. <laughs> it's a little scary for me. We are, we are. I like your puppy dog earmuffs. Thank you. <laughs> so we are now one cable car stop up from Murren where we're staying. This is Berg. This is where the adventure walk is. We're about 8,500 feet above sea level and they've built this massive wraparound steel walkway suspended over a sheer drop off. So it's still a bit cloudy, but we can see a little bit of the beautiful view that's here. This is just, it's breathtaking. You see that Alexa? <laughs> it was snow, right? Yeah, the snow is coming up instead of down. <laughs> Look, <laughs> the, the wind's blowing, blowing up it upwards. <laughs> Butterflies. <laughs> Is this the scariest playground you've ever been on? <laughs> it doesn't even feel like a playground. <laughs> Have you changed your mind yet? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked down. <laughs> Don't look down. Look at me. Hi. <laughs> Are you warm? <laughs> it's like 1,000 foot drop. I'm so scared. I'm hungry. Why, why are you eating the icicles? I'm yeah. hungry. <laughs> you guys are so brave. Oh, yeah. Whoa, Chloe, Look good job, you. buddy. Good job, Chloe. Well, She's munching on icicles. Yay, Chloe. Oh. Good job! What are you doing? <laughs> Fresh ice. Fresh ice. Well, I think the kids are braver than I am today. It's also too cold. It's freezing. Wow. Good job, Alexa. Just Good job, focus Chloe. on what you're doing. You're doing a great job. Is it scary? It scary to me. Good job, Chloe. I'm so proud of you. Give me a hug. Finger frozen. Fingers, Fingers frozen. frozen. <laughs> okay. Can I ask you a question? Does that song make you brave? Yeah. Good job, buddy. Somebody's feet were frozen. <laughs> now she's living her best life. We're to be happy out there. Done? Yeah. <laughs> what? Foot massage? Foot massage. <laughs> Foot massage. <laughs> hey. So far past the clouds, you're not coming down. And it's just now sinking in that I don't want to call it what it is. But if I had a spell, 
This morning we have come up to Pease Gloria and we are having the James Bond brunch. They have a full buffet and a rotating restaurant so we can see amazing views the whole time we eat breakfast. So the funny thing is, as you get your breakfast, the tables move around you. So it's kind of disorienting to find where your table was. So we were over there and I was going the wrong direction thinking I was finding the girls and they were right behind me. <laughs> We've had ups and downs, seen our world spin round, but here we are still hands in hand. So this is an all-you-can-eat buffet, so naturally we like to go back and get more food. The problem is, is as we keep moving, the food gets further and further away. <laughs> so we have to walk further and further every time. And then you have to remember where your table is. <laughs> so the reason this is the James Bond brunch is that this was a filming location for one of the James Bond movie on top of Peace Gloria. Whew, I'm feeling out of breath. <laughs> I know, we're very high up right now. <laughs> we're about 10,500 feet, I think. Uh, but even walking upstairs just then, it made me a little bit out of breath. Um, but this was one of the filming locations, and so they have all kinds of James Bond memorabilia and a... I, a I think there's a museum here. There's, yeah. a, there's a James Bond museum here with memorabilia and all kinds of James Bond decor. Well, when you're at 2,900 meters above sea level, the weather changes rather quickly. <laughs> it is the middle of summer here, but it has turned into a proper blizzard. But trying not to let that stop me from getting out and experiencing this walk here. So Heather and I came here five years ago, and we had definitely a better view than this. It left such an impression on us that we just had to come back and bring the girls. So we're gonna have to come back when the weather is a little bit more cooperative to appreciate that pristine Swiss skyline. Yeah. Oh my goodness, Chloe! Okay. Okay. Don't press the wrong button. Do <laughs> the yellow one, huh? Oh. Ready? And then we go down, minus, huh? Good job, Listen, huh? Oh. Good. Huh? Uh -oh. Soon we go down. Did it work? Huh? This starts slowly. Ooh, you did it, Chloe! Oh, you drove the cable car! I'm gonna do it again! That was fun, huh? You see them, yeah, exactly. You see Girls, a few you of them. See them. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Oh, do you see them? But look at them there. Look this at the them little baby. The, the baby is always under the stomach oh. for the, like the mother. You see. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Oh You're my welcome. goodness, my mountain goats. I always observe them because I love them. <laughs> Did you get it? Oh, I'll try again. Nothing. <laughs> this is nice. So while we're staying in Marin, we're checking out Hotel Elpenru, which is stunning. I mean, the view behind me right now, this corner room, which sits in the perfect spot not only because it's right next to the cable car but because of this view looking off nearly 270 degrees off into these mountains this view is stunning like you're never going to stay inside of your room the, the rooms are very nice and newly renovated but why bother staying in your room when you have a view like this i want to live somewhere here yeah this is a pretty good place to live don't you think <laughs> 
I think Chloe's right. Living someplace like this would be a dream. We've been talking nonstop about how incredible it would be to live in the mountains, how restorative and healing it is to be in a natural environment like this. And I mean, even just coming out here for four or five days, it's just like, like the best way to spend a vacation. But wow, I do envy the people who actually get to live in this town. It's, it's so picture perfect. Look, there's two sky bananas now. <laughs> what are sky bananas, Chloe? Chloe calls the uh, hang glider sky bananas. Kind of looks like a banana in the sky. It does! <laughs> Chloe, do you know what that sound is? Yeah. What is it? Cows. Moo. <laughs> Cows. So from my observation, most people visiting this area just come for one day to go up to the top of Schildhorn, explore up there, and then leave, which is a mistake. If you're going to come to this area, you need to stay a little while. There is quite a lot of things to do. Staying in Murren is the perfect place to be. It's at a comfortable elevation. And then you have those peaceful, quiet mornings when basically no one's around and it's very quiet and you can enjoy the views, go on a hike. Honestly, I think three or four days is perfect. They actually sell a four day pass for the lifts, which is what we have. Gives you unlimited rides up and down to explore. I'm going through changes 